What's up guys, it's Brad from JBH Media here. Today I'm going to be going over how I typically color grade my footage and my short films. Um, so just to teach you guys how to do that in Premiere. So let's get started here. Um, so here I have this shot of a flag, just kind of waving in the breeze here. And uh, the first thing you need to obviously need to know when you, when you color grade your footage is to make it so the camera isn't changing and the information that's coming into that sensor. So make it shoot it flat. You can look that up on Google and there are plenty of um, people that can tell you how to do that on your camera. So when color grading my footage, about half the time I use what's called the fast color corrector and half the time I use the three-way color corrector. In my experience, I actually like the fast color corrector better. I think the three-way is actually gives you more control, but man, the fast color corrector, I can get some very um, good results with it and of course really fast that's what it's designed to do anyway so let's go ahead and drag go to go to effects here like what I just did go to effects color correction and drag that fast color corrector over onto your clip and the first thing I'm gonna do it gives you a bunch of different options here um, what the first thing you can you choose here is kinda change the tint and the hue of your footage uh, I like to, for this particular shot, I like to make it a little warmer. You can also cool it down. Heck, you can also kind of make it purple or green. I, I usually just go warm, usually either warm it up or cool it down. For this shot, I'm going to warm it up. And you can also change the, um, the gain of that color, which can make it really weird looking. But anyway, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to reset that. I'm going to bring this up to warm up the footage. So that looks a little better. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to here to increase the contrast of my footage. Now a lot of people will increase the contrast using the RGB curves um, effect over here and that, that, that works too. You can drag that over there and you can kind of go over here increase the contrast with this master. You can tell what it's doing there. Um, but I like to, uh, oh that's quite a bit but what I like to do is I like to do it inside the fast color corrector. So how you can do that is you can, you're going to mess with the input levels. And uh, what, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the black level. I'm going to choose the darkest portion of the footage, probably this branch right here. I'm going to click on that, and that's going to that's going to make everything that's the shade of that tree branch there and uh, darker, almost completely black. And you can see it changed the input level right here. And then I'm going to take the white level eyedropper, and I'm going to choose the brightest spot of our footage, which could probably be this flag right here. And oof, that's uh, that that really blew it out. You can tell here. Let's try that again. Um, yeah, you have to kind of obviously you have to judge these things on your own sometimes too. I'll choose the sky this next time. That, that was a little better. So it kind of made the sky a little brighter. I'm going to kind of reduce that manually a little bit so it's not quite as blown out. So you can kind of mess with these input levels yourself um, to get the right look you're going for. You can also, if you want to look at the information that the camera is actually taking in, you can open a reference monitor, and it will tell you, it will show you the waveform of your footage. Um, as, as you can see here, this the darks are actually pretty dark. It's below zero, so I'm going to need to bring that down a little bit. Well, not too much. Anyway, that point, the point is you can you can uh, you can look at this reference monitor. You don't want it to go over 100 or below zero, really, but you want to keep as much information as possible. I like to do it mainly by eye, and then I'll look look at that reference monitor to make sure nothing's really off. Um, but here's that look you'll get. You can see the before and after. So far, it looks quite a bit better, in my opinion. Um, and depending on the look you're going for. The third thing you're going to mess with, or that I usually mess with, is the saturation. Now, uh, what I you can either increase the saturation a bit, go to 200, boom, man, that really makes the colors come out. <laughs> Probably a little too much, in my opinion. Maybe if you're, you might want to stick to maybe 150 or something like that if you're going to make it more saturated. For this particular shot, let, let's say I want to make the shot a little more desolate. I'll uh, bring the saturation from 100 down to 50. 
in Manvetta that brings a lot of the colors out while still leaving our the that kind of warmer tint on it that we did at the beginning with the color wheel. So yeah, that's uh, that's the way I typically color grade my footage. It's a pretty simple process. Um, I might also do a tutorial on how I usually do color grading with a three-way color corrector. Um, but I really I like the fast color corrector. I think it's a powerful tool and you can get some pretty great results in it. If you want to make your footage really cinematic, you can uh, drop a letterbox on there. I have a letterbox right here. And uh, 235 aspect ratio and uh, bring it give it that widescreen effect there and uh, play it back and you see uh, you, have a, you have a great looking shot right there and uh, that's what you can kind of get with just kind of basic techniques like this and I'll show you guys the before and after there's before there's after then before the before the map box after the map box anyway yeah that's about it that's how I typically color grade my shots in Adobe Premiere there are there are a lot more complex ways to do this but I uh, I've definitely found this sufficient so far um, leave me a comment if you have any questions be sure to like comment and subscribe on this video if you thought it was helpful and uh, yeah leave me some suggestions on what you'd like to see next I'll uh, I'll see you guys next time Place where they made these doctors making things. Sector 9.